What up, dude bros? I had a chance to check out some upcoming 2018 Nerf Blasters at the Toy Fair. This is a quick run-through of what we have coming later this year. Standalone videos with my opinion and firing demos to be uploaded later. First, the Nerf Modulus Ghost Ops Evader, retail for $39.99, released in fall 2018. This is semi-auto flywheel blaster, think a strife, painted clear, with built-in LEDs that activate when you press the front trigger. Included with the Evader is just the blaster and the suppressor. There are two attachments also in the Ghost Ops series. The first being sold separately is an attachable chronograph and ammo cap in one unit retailing for 15 US dollars. This is a chrono just like what I use for my reviews when I say 70 FPS so you can check the velocity of all the darts you're firing and it also has a count up and count down feature. If you want to count all the rounds for the day you just use count up or count down so you can set it to whatever magazine you're using and use it like a standard ammo counter so it'll indicate when you're out of ammo which is really cool. Another Ghost Ops accessory sold separately for about 15 US dollars is a red dot sight along with a matching target. This has a little red light that illuminates the target when you align it correctly. Next, the Nerf Elite Infinis, retailing for $69.99, coming out in fall of 2018. This is fully automatic, magazine-fed, flywheel blaster, think sort of like a rapid strike, but it has a built-in dart loading port, so you shove darts into the port, sort of like you're giving a vending machine cash, and then it loads the dart into the magazine for you. And it works pretty well. I'm excited to test this more in depth later on when I get a test sample. I tried not to stress test anything. I didn't want to break anything like I did at the last Toy Fair. That is the Infinis. Next, the Elite Delta Trooper, retailing for $29.99, coming out also in fall of 2018. This is a spring-powered top prime magazine fed blaster that's very similar to the Retaliator, but it also has slam fire, and it has the standard attachable stock and barrel. I was told this is the successor to the Retaliator, which means it will replace it. The Nerf Zombie Strike Scravenger, retailing for $49.99, also coming out in fall of 2018. Spring-powered magazine fed blaster, very similar to the Zombie Strike Sling Fire. This has slam fire enabled, but it's not like a hold down the trigger slam fire, there's a switch on the side. Goofy attachments, which are yellow, red, all sorts of weird colors that kind of clash, but it kind of fits the um, end of the world type of thing because color coordination doesn't really matter when you're trying to, you know, fight the zombies. The included optic holds a, a Nerf magazine in the side and swivels. And the included stock holds a jolt reskin. This is a two-shot jolt reskin. So it's like a triad but thinner with two darts. Also sold separately is the twin slice attachment for $12.99, which looks really cool and intimidating, but it doesn't spin like a chainsaw. These foam things pop out of the shell so you can throw them sort of like ninja stars, which I think is just really cool. That is the scavenger next the zombie strike rip chain retailing for $39.99 coming out fall of 2018. This is spring-powered pump-action chain-fed blaster with a capacity of 25 darts. Next, the Mega Thunderhawk retailing for $49.99 coming out in fall of 2018. Spring-powered primed on the side with a bolt handle, featuring an integrated clip system which isn't removable. This is the first AccuStrike Mega Blaster, so those darts will be fun to test later on. And the barrel slides to, um, you know, look more like a sniper for uh, dim style points. Next, the new Microshot Blasters. This is Wave 2, first the Crossfire Bow. This actually has little bow arms that, like, pop out to resemble the actual blaster, which is uh, adorable, and also the Microshot Strife, which will be my new favorite blaster ever, because it's just adorable. It's like a puppy version of a Strife. How could you make it, like, cooler? New for Nerf Rival, they're coming out with goggles that have a team indicator on the forehead. This doesn't have the face protection mask like the other goggles they used to sell. And you can switch from red to white to blue team, fitting that Phantom Core changing teams theme. New blaster for Rival, the Prometheus, retailing for $199.99. Yeah, 200 bucks. that's a lot. Coming out in fall of 2018. This is full auto, 200 round capacity, and they say it's 8 rounds per second rate of fire. It's like an upgraded Nemesis. Also, the Rival Hades, retailing for $69.99, coming out in fall of 2018. This is spring-powered, pump-action, 60-round capacity with slam fire. It's sort of like the Rival Artemis, but like stretched out with a higher capacity. Very smooth operating blaster, very fun and a new Star Wars blaster with some fancy packaging like the Deadpool and the other Star Wars blaster recently. This is spring-powered, primed on the side like with a, a bolt handle style thing, and it's Rival Magazine compatible and it feeds into the magazine sort of like an Apollo. It includes red Rival rounds so you can fire like lasers, like a Stormtrooper, but you can actually hit stuff because it's a Rival blaster. Those were the blasters that I haven't covered and I was excited about at 2018 Toy Fair. I'll make standalone videos on each of these going over more elaborately my opinion and what I'm excited about in particular. But that's my summary or the overview of the new blasters coming out in 2018 under the Nerf brand. Let me know which blaster excites you the most with a comment in the section below. That concludes this video. Thanks so much for watching, bros, and as always, stay tactical.